Blanche and Rose, are those your only roommates? No. Get this. My mother moved into the house. Oh, what? My oh, God. You see, her retirement home burned down. It was a very nice retirement village. Shit. <laughs> um, not sunny, evergreen trees. Mm. Yeah. So she moved in with you after it burned down? Oh, she did. My mother's horrible. She's the source of all of my problems, doctor. Well, that's she... one of my famous phrases. When in doubt, blame the mother. Well, it's really accurate in this case. But, doctor, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. You know, the girls, Rose, Blanche, my mother, Sophia, we may have our differences. We may have our ups and downs. But at the end of every episode, we come together and find a common ground and realize we're chosen family. Did you say episode? What? At the end of every episode. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Doctor. I think that's a very interesting way to phrase it. And something's been bothering me as you were talking about your roommates and your life. And uh, Not enough shoulder pads? No, more than enough shoulder pads. Very self-conscious. Sasquatch chic. You know, when you were talking about your life, and specifically your roommates, there was something that I couldn't put my finger on, but it seemed very familiar to me. And then, when you said episode, it hit me like a ton of bricks. There is a television program, a beloved sitcom from the 80s, about four older women who lived together in Miami, I can't say the title for legal reasons, but let's just call it The Gilded Gals. I feel like you are the character Dorothy from that television show, and the people you're describing are characters from that show. Doctor, you're absolutely right. Oh, I can't believe it. I've been so blind. I just don't understand what's going on in your real life where being a 50-something-year-old, unattractive, manly, shoulder-padded, divorced substitute teacher is better than being yourself. Oh, I feel like such a fool. You're trying to escape from your real life. Yes, yes, you're right. So I guess the question is, are you ready to be your authentic self? Yes. Yes, I am. Are you ready to be courageous and brave and not only pull down this emotional wall that you're putting up, but also pull off that wig, that horrible wig, and maybe pull off that hideous outfit and those chunky 80s earrings? All right, I get it. All of it has to go. Okay. All right, here we go, doctor. I'm with you. You can do this. I can't wait to meet the real you. Hi. What's your name? Hi. My name is Carrie. I'm a newspaper columnist from New York City, and I love hanging out with my close friends, Samantha, Charlotte, and Miranda. You see... And just like that, I helped yet another person separate reality from fantasy.